How are you doing? I decided to do a Sunday dinner cook cook along tonight. Um, when my kids are coming for dinner because mom's making her famous turkey pot pie that I do from the leftovers from Christmas. So I'm going to uh, I put the the recipe in the description, and I'll just going to turn you over here for a moment to show you how I'm doing it. And I'm going to be looking back and forth because comments are over here. <laughs> Camera's here for now. And hello, Danny D. Welcome in. What's up? Hooking up the leftovers of, of turkey for a turkey pot pie tonight. So I'm just going to give you guys a little view of the stove so you can see what I'm doing here. Tighten that up. So I've got, I'm kind of backward because it calls for one thing in a saucepan, one thing in a skillet, but I do it in the opposite. <laughs> so to start with in this pot, over medium heat, I'm going to do a little higher than medium. I need to put, and I'm doubling the recipe right now, I need to put uh, four tablespoons of butter. I usually eyeball it. Sure. Go for me. It's margarine because I didn't get any butter because freaking butter is it's like almost eight dollars per pound of butter here. Not impressed because I prefer butter over margarine. So I melt that over medium. I might turn it up a bit just to get started. This is a recipe you can, can use uh, chicken if you have leftover chicken or you can cook up some chicken breasts and dice that up. You can also let's say buy a rotisserie chicken and cut that up and use that. I have a few recipes that you, I use rotisserie chicken. One's a, a soup one and I'll be doing that soup in the spring, I think, on one of my Thursday lives. Unfortunately, this margarine was in the uh, freezer. <laughs> it's taking a moment to heat up. I, I usually do this recipe because well, after after Christmas or Thanksgiving or um, Easter is usually when I do turkey. Then I'll do pot pie following. Yes, I'm more of a fan of white meat. My youngest son likes dark meat, some dark meat. Um, my daughter-in-law likes a little dark meat too, so I usually have lots of dark meat left. And this is one way I can use a lot of that too. So we're going to get that sizzling there. And to the butt butter, we're going to add some onion. And it calls for celery. I got, I realized I only had one stock of celery. So there's one stalk of celery in there. I also had in my freezer, I had some um, mirepoix, which is your carrots, celery, and onion. So I'm going to throw a package of that in. Because it calls for carrot, celery, and onion. And then I got some carrots. I'm going to crank this up a little bit just to get them going. Let's throw a bunch of cold things in there, so. We're going to saute this until the vegetables are tender. Well, it's going to take some time for my carrots to get tender. And also to that, we're going to add 
parsley. Parsley got through. It calls for three tablespoons of dried parsley. So I'm doubling this. So one, two, three. Like I said, I eyeball sometimes. Four, five. Also calls for oregano, two teaspoons of oregano, one, two, and I've preheated my oven to 350 for now, so it's ready to go, I want to get to that point. Also calls for salt. And pepper to taste. That's up to you. A little now, a little later. Oops. Do you want to have some flavor? So. Sharing that out. Uh, looks and sounds yummy. It, it is. My oldest and his wife have been here. we here last weekend for New Year's. We had the weekend before for Christmas, and they now live 30 minutes away. So I wasn't sure if they'd want to come all the way to um, town again. But we have a little Facebook group between us for our Sunday dinners, because we used to do them all the time until they moved out of town. So um, I just posted in our little Facebook group was like making turkey pot pie for anybody, anybody that wants to come. Yeah, they're coming. I'm not sure if I'm going to have five here for dinner or six. That's, that's up in the air. But. Either or. I, that's why I double the recipe because it doesn't go a whole long way with healthy adult appetites. Actually, it'll probably be four or five because my son's girlfriend has to be work at five, so she'll be having leftovers later, possibly. Well, there will be leftovers for her, but I'm not sure if she's working till 9, 11, or midnight. Wish that was a smaller. I like this recipe. It's quick and easy. Most of your time is spent cooking down the uh, onions and carrots to soften them and then when the potatoes get put in, getting them soft. Then it's just throwing everything together real quick. And this other pan will be, I won't start it quite yet, but it will also, it'll be some more butter for margarine. So for two tablespoons or a single thing, so it'll be four for a double recipe. And that pan will be turkey, flour, and milk. And in this pan, we've got our mirepoix, but this is herbs and stuff. And then I'll have potatoes and gravy added to it. Or it calls for water and chicken bouillon, or if you have broth, but 
I usually use my leftover gravy if I have any. Sometimes I've had to do the, the broth and all that stuff because sometimes the gravy doesn't go a long way on them. All the mashed potatoes and turkey and stuffing and stuff. So, grab a fork here to see if these carrots are getting tender yet. Not yet. I might crank that up a little bit more. Doesn't help when I'm doubling the recipe. In. So, or cook. I will be doing a cook along on this Thursday. It's going to be mushroom chicken and I've already put the ingredients needed on the thumbnail for the uh, Thursday cook. It's a quick and easy recipe. It's one my mom made, it's one I make. My son, my younger son and I love it. The rest of them, not so much because they're not mushroom fans, but they do like the sauce. Wish I could rearrange this kitchen so I had a little bit more <laughs> so you can see me and the, with the, the pots at the same time. Oh, we may move a chair here. Let me see if I can move it around a bit so you, you can see each other. Oh, they're just going to see my arms. I'm like, unless I bend down like this. Oh, where are you? Over here. Now, we'll just stay on the pots and pans. Be able to see there. Whew. Even that. Okay, I'm going to turn that back down. Woo! That's hot. this morning because for some silly reason I was awake at 5 a.m. so I did a lot of prepping for, for this. Went to prepping and then I have enough. Potatoes peeled and cubed. I'm double it for six. It calls for two cups of water and two chicken bouillon, or I use two cups of broth or gravy. So I have four cups of gravy here. I have a little bit more water to rinse up my gravy. And I'm going to bring that up to a boil. And we're going to mix in our potatoes. There's lots of potatoes there. Oops. Okay. This is the other longer part is cooking it until the potatoes are starting to get tender. Probably done some more carrots in there, but it's good enough. 
probably should have left the temperature up there. And then in this pan back here, I'll start melting that butter. So it tells me to do this in the sauce, the large saucepan. It tells me to do this part in the no, it tells me to do this, the large skillet. It tells me to do this part in the saucepan. I do it the other way because I usually have more of this than I have of the turkey. Someone's got some grease or something on the burner. Smoke it. Put my smoke detector far enough away. Hopefully it doesn't go off. If it does, we'll deal with it. Somebody was frying bacon. So I'm going to throw in the turkey, just so we kind of heat the turkey through. Oh, she's going to stop. Heat the turkey through, and then we're going to add some other stuff to it. Well, I think you bring the servant. What's everybody else having for dinner tonight? So let's see, we're going to turkey it up. So I double dot, so it's a cup and a half of turkey per, per batch. So there's three cups of turkey there. Calls for three tablespoons of flour per batch. I'm going to turn it down once I get, and it doesn't hurt to throw a little salt and pepper in here either. Hmm, this won't cooperate, I don't want too much. Turn that down to low because I don't want to burn it. That's going to thicken there. I'm still waiting for this to burn into a boil. I'm just going to keep this on the lowest I can go so I don't burn it. Or I might just bring it up to you. It's warmed up and you turn it off too. But yeah. We don't want burnt milk and flour. It just be kind of gross. It's thick there, but when you add it t together, it thickens the whole thing. Makes a great hot pie base. 
Now you can make this up and put it in a pie shell with the top crust and do whatever the, the um, instructions are for that. I went to a local restaurant. They made individual pot pies for about this big, June pot pies. And they had a puff pastry on top. And I thought it was the most delicious pot pie it had. I kind of cheat because I'm not into doing puff pastry. I use Pillsbury crescent rolls and I put, I'll put those across the top. But first of all, I'm going to cook all this and put it in the oven for a little bit. Took it out, put the crescent rolls on top, put it back in until it's golden brown. So as we get down to the oven, then I will, we can sit and chat till the next part. Oh, sorry, come on, go boil too. This is all cooked stuff, so I'm not worried about mixing um, cross contamination, whatever. So the problem is, all cold takes a while to come up to boil. Let's have a check. Oops. There. There we go. Chat a bit. We got Lily, Danny, Portman. I know there might be a few others lurking in there. A couple others. I know of one because I was chatting with her earlier. <laughs> Hello, Crystal. Actually, what I could do here, uh, let's see, no, that's not what I want. Some days, oh, coffee, not Coffee. Paste. And we'll pin that to the top. So if anybody wants to come up and chat while we're doing this, so I'm not all so I'm talking to myself. There's the link. batch of the potatoes and all that stuff is starting to come to a boil so you got to do it till your potatoes are kind of tender but otherwise when even after it's cooked in the oven you still get a kind of a crunchy potato if you don't get tender enough Chris is being a hairdresser right now up to her elbows and hair dye now if you want to do mine like <laughs> mine needs to be cut and colored. But I'm just debating. I, we've done this reddish, purplish tinge. Well, it's purple goes to red, purplish goes to red, and then fades out. I'm debating whether I'm going to stay with that or I'm just going to do like a, a shade of brown or something. Can't decide. There's, I'm, not, I'm getting kind of tired of the red, red so then I got this dark hair or the, the grainy showing here. Hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll get that taken care of. Or I might just die at first. <laughs> so I don't have, I have to look at the grays. I know. I should be able to, to comfortably go gray, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm fighting it all the way. Dark cherry. I, what is I did have something cherry. When I... I do right now it's like it's powered violet by l'oreal but there was one i did that was the something cherry might have been dark cherry i'd have to look i think i kept the box top off of it i 
can check this. I'm pretty sure it's not tender yet. Oops. I grab the big ones so I can see. It's starting. It's starting to. So if you have turkey for Christmas, what do you do with your leftovers? Usually the bones get thrown in a bag and my youngest will make turkey stock. And one of us eventually might make a turkey soup. Pot pie is a popular one. So we do, I'm just gonna turn that off. We don't want it to burn. This is making me hungry already, and dinner is not. I set it for six. It's going to take. Uh, it takes about 20, 30 minutes in the oven, and then put the crescent roll on, and it's another 10 to 12 minutes. And you might have to make some crescent rolls on the side because of my uh, son's girlfriend. It's going to be late getting back. Really late. It sounds like midnight tonight. She works at a pizza place. She usually, sometimes she doesn't often work Sundays, but she works Sunday. Then quite often she's off Monday. Hello, cruise and scene. How are you doing, Rob? Or, sorry, cruising on the high seas, not cruise and scene. Person on the high seas is Rob. It's from Canada. Rob near Toronto area. Sharon is cruising scene. I have a hard time too with the names. I guess see re reading cruising on the high seas, but say cruising scene myself. But. We're boiling here, we're boiling. A few more minutes on those potatoes. It's hard. It's hard with a lot of channels. Uh, especially if you don't talk to them a lot and you decide to have whatever name, like my first name's in my channel, but if you don't have your first name in your channel, then you try to associate, okay, that channel is X. <laughs> oh, the Toronto Blue Jays, or the Maple Leafs, or the Raptors, depends on what sport you like. Maybe I'll get up that way this year. In, in Toronto, it's not awesome in Toronto. I haven't been to Toronto since the pandemic. I think it was before. My uh, when I called my adopted son was going to University of Toronto, so I'm not to visit him. But that was before pandemic. I don't think I've been to Toronto since. Now, because of the cruise, I do it. Detroit with Crystal. My cousin has been flying back and forth and she flies out of London. So no, I haven't been to Toronto area. Ooh, shouldn't set the fork there. The fork's a little warm. Okay, I'm gonna check these potatoes again. Let's see if we can find a fat one. Oops. A big one, not a fat one. Oops, starting to get tender there. Let's turn that up a bit. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I don't know. I might have to add a little bit more water to this. Depends on this gravy once it gets the turkey in with it. How much it thickens. 
little bit of liquid, but not sloppy. I'll put you back down here so you can see what I'm doing. is going just going into it so it's almost to that point I got a little bit of planning done for my Thursday nights um, for the near future for the for the cook along with me once I get the, my odd nights figured out the first week is going to be trivia, the second week is going to be cooking, third week is going to be an essential oil. There's, there is a change in there. there. If there comes up a time that I can't do one of those, I'll post a video, a pre-recorded video. I'm going to grab my schedule and give you guys an idea of what we're doing. I was going to do, there's other recipes I was going to do. I started looking at videos I've already posted or lives I've posted with cooking. And I had done some of my favorite ones already, so. I think that's tender enough. Well, if I do get up that way, Rob, I will let you know. Ugh. heavy pan. Put that in with that. Now with the flour and butter and milk in there that is going to thicken this up. And stir that in. Chicken or the turkey, sorry, turkey mixed in there well because we want everybody to get some turkey in with their. Probably could have done some more turkey, but didn't have that much leftover turkey. Everybody was having turkey sandwiches, and even myself. I love a good turkey sandwich. Now, to thicken, make sure it's thickened, you want it to come back to a boil. So it's starting to thicken there. Hands over here. Out of the way. Get that. Then you go with whatever casserole dishes you have. Um, I usually do two of these. Oops, French white from Corningware. I have a bigger one, but it's not as deep. So, so that's kind of thickened up. Stir it around. Can you still see me here? I just had a label in my hand. No, I didn't. I was reaching for it. I got distracted. So I'm going to split this up between two of these casseroles. Now, I have done this one for LARP, um, not pot pie, but I've made it more gravy to it. So it was more like a stew. That went over well. Especially on a cold night. It's a... Uh... Hello Brie. Welcome in. Making some turkey pot pie. The recipe's in the description. Sorry, I have to go back and... 
we cook, cook down some onion and, and carrot and celery, some parsley and oregano, and then we threw in the potatoes. And then the other pot we had turkey, some milk, and some flour to thicken it. Right now I'm putting it in my casseroles. I have my oven preheated at 350. If you want to make it really less thick, you can, you can go th thinner than a stew, you can just make it a soup. You can maybe I can make some chicken pot pie soup or stew for M23, maybe? I don't know. Definitely gonna make butter tarts again, right, Marie? <laughs> oh, I'm making full size butter tarts with raisins. Because those are the ones that seem to go the, the fastest. Scoop this up. Make sure we're all the goodness over there. Put that back. There. Oops, I missed a carrot. So, I'm just gonna move you back for a second so I can open the oven. you guys around again in just a second. Let me part my hey, oh, cooking is cleaning up afterwards. I love cooking. I just don't like to clean up. As you can see by my kitchen CSI, none of us around here like cleaning up. There'll be another one coming out. I found another one this week. So, I'm going to move you guys around. Oops. I gotta be careful here. As you know, we got I have a temperamental uh, webcam. I'll bring it down a little lower here. I can get this thing to work. There we go. This is my little shelf here. My son that was in culinary, he likes things handy. So we're pots, pans, um, bowls, mixing bowls. Ingredients we use a lot, like rice and pasta and flour and sugar and all that's right there. My fridge over there, just like a collection of stuff on it. I'm gonna come around and move that chair. I don't want to trip over cords. Carol, how are you doing? a food lover, I, so am I. M20, M22 is great with all the different foods to try with so many. So many good foods. I have to buy the I have to buy the paper plates that are the, the, the huge ones that are kind of like an oval. <laughs> Bring those next time. 
because I want to try a little bit of everything. Of course, the wind's on the gut afterwards, but it was a lot of good food. My refrigerator, Lily, was on the other side of the room, beside my sink. And it just felt so cl closed in there because it was like, there's a sink and the fridge was right here. And it's like, so when we move things around now at the end of my sink is my um, microwave stand. It has like a, an open shelf and a, the microwave's in there. And then on top, we have the coffee maker and the toaster. So it's kind of like your breakfast area if you want to that and then we move the fridge over here into this corner <coughs> excuse me and it really opened things up plus it's kind of more convenient to the fridge to the stove i could probably could put it beside the stove but then i have to go around the fridge to get to this tape shelf so should divide the pot bucket to two nights since it was so much food on the even campsites but things to talk to uh kevin about maybe I know we have a pavilion for the weekend, so I split it into lunch and dinner or something. I don't know. That's up for the organizers. <laughs> this is your, you want to bring stuff, you want to bring it up so everybody can taste it, but then there's too much food because everybody wants, would like to try everything, but. Sometimes it's not possible. Depends on how many people go this year. I'm suspecting it would be bigger since it's been growing and growing, but I know there are some people that aren't able to come this year, so we'll see. I'm looking forward to it. It's in my plans. Hopefully nothing messes up my plans. Oh, I was going to talk about my schedule here. So I've got kind of set up <laughs> for the next little while. I still have to figure out some of the recipes because since I discovered that a bunch of the recipes I've already done videos on. I might do some more recipes. I do have some that use essential oils. And I know I've done one or two. I know I did the cookies and I know I did a pasta recipe that had the um, essential oils in it, but I have more recipes. So maybe I'll look into those again. But I got, you know, I got a quick chicken noodle soup recipe, homemade. Um, my son's version of Reuben sandwich is really good. My easy version of shepherd's pie. My, my sloppy joe recipe. Chowder. We have a taco night, but it's, I'll, I'll make my seasoning with you and then we can just go from there. And then I got one, two, three four or five weeks I gotta figure out what I'm gonna cook so maybe I'll dig out my essential oil and then we're gonna, we're gonna do the top 10 essential oils over the next 12 months plus a couple other of my favorites and I'll discuss what you know uses and they have and stuff um, trivia Got a whole different. I'm not going to mention it because I don't want anybody to take my trivia ideas. <laughs> See? But I'm thinking there's going to be a week that's going to be a Golden Girls trivia, so. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15 other weeks are going to come up with stuff for it. What's going to be the fourth week of the month? I don't know. On some months, there's five weeks. So I figure that. Yeah, but I, I figured that was easier for me for 2023. Just quite often I have weeks that come up and then I'm stressing, going, what am I going to do this week? That might be what did I try to have things figured out by the beginning of the week and some weeks it's Tuesday or Wednesday, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I got a live on Thursday, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I thought, I'll do a little rotation, and 
oh, it's the first week of the month. It's trivia. Oh, the second week, we're going to be cooking. The third week, we're going to talk about the oils. Since I'm spoiled, mama. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about, well, other things that are important on my channel, like family. And we have to go a little more in depth to about the lark because you see the videos but maybe there are some videos also in my playlist under lark that are, are lark 101 um they're put out by the big guild we're part of that explains it a bit more but i can tell you maybe about more about my character or stuff like that or different ideas i'm still tossing a bunch of ideas around there's anything you want to know more about me or my or my channel this is killing me <laughs> smelling this so it's 17 minutes there and then I'm gonna put the the top on and as soon as it's done I'll show you guys and then I'll probably have to cut it short after that once my my oldest and his wife get here and lost possibly my adopted son. I don't know. I don't know if he's working today or not. It was nice on New Year's. He was away at his partner's for, for New Year's. So um, he did message me at five after 12 and it was nice to do some FaceTime, have the quick chat. New Year's is pretty quiet, usually pretty quiet around here. Well, one year we had a party. We had, I think we had what, 19 people. It's when I still lived in the house. And we did, it was mostly people that are associated with our, with LARP and the ones that are from my area. Although we did have a couple come from Windsor. I'm not sure if anybody came from the London area, but I know that we had a couple from Windsor that came that were the owners of the guild or guild at the time, but they sold the guild to our current owners, um, Aaron and Corey. But it was, it was fun. It was busy and noisy and, and that, but quite often it's, it's me and my kids, maybe a few other people. Sometimes play games, sometimes we just talk. Quite often it's Cards Against Humanity. This, this year, my oldest brought a game called Joking Hazard, and I don't know if anybody has seen, was it Happiness and Cyanide or whatever? Uh, I think it's a an online cartoon type thing. And there was, some of the cards had just pictures, some of them had words, and you had to kind of, one was put down, like like when you play Cards Against Humanity, it, it, you take turns being the judge or whatever, you're reading the card off. Well, this one you would put a card down or two, one or two cards down depending on the card and then everybody had else had to put a card face down that they thought would make the best finish for that and then like cards against humanity you pick the one that you think was the best and then but this one was only supposed to, like whoever gets the three cards first you know was the winner of we, we did it more like Cards Against Humanity. We, would, we go to 10 when we play Cards Against Humanity. It's like, whoever gets 10 cards for... Um, it was fun. It was quiet. It was... Uh, my oldest, his wife, my youngest, and then his girlfriend came back. Rang in the new year. Actually, they stayed for a little while after. Usually, they they're gone by one, but they stayed for a little while after, and then it was it was fun. I like uh, quiet family time. <laughs> I kind of miss it. I miss my having my oldest around all the time. But, you know, they grow up, they get married, they move out, <laughs> gotta face the empty nest thing sometime. I still have my youngest here, but you know, eventually he and his girlfriend will be moving out too. I should have some, done something for dip dessert, but I would have had to go back to the store and get more ingredients in it. 
I just didn't feel like walking down there today. Like I said, for some reason I was awake at uh, quarter to five. Still got up, did up dishes from just last night's dinner, prep stuff for the pot pie. Got organized for, got my thumbnails up and that. And, and then I took a nap. And then I chatted with a friend for an hour or so before the uh, live. Lily stayed home and hung out with her husband and us. Oh, with Mike and uh, okay. At midnight, kissed her husband and went to bed. Well, I basically went to bed after my kids left and then New Year's Day, I got up and I took down all the decorations. <laughs> I used to be the type that I would put up my Christmas tree and I would leave it up till way into January and stuff. And then when the kids were of age and started, we started having a little bit bigger, not, not huge New Year's party, like the 19 people, but the, you know, four or five friends, yeah, young adults, late teens, young adults, because we're drinking age here, it's 19, tend to get a little tipsy, and, you know, there's a couple times that Christmas tree almost got knocked over, so I started taking the Christmas tree down by New Year's Eve, and then put up my New Year's Eve decoration, or New Year's decorations, and then they might stay up a day or two, but this, this year it's like, nope, Pulled them all down, packed them all away. Sitting in a bin over here, still needs to go downstairs, but I also have a bin upstairs of all my wrapping stuff from Christmas that needs to go downstairs yet. Yeah, well, it's part of everybody growing up and going their own ways. We used to get have large gatherings at Christmas and New Year's and now it's me and my kids. Now their dad did come over for um, Christmas for the whole day. <laughs> that was inter interesting, but my ex and I get along, so it's it's not a big deal. And the kids almost lost him uh, about a year and a half ago, so we're just kind of. My oldest asked if it would be okay if dad came over, and I was like. Fine, you can go over breakfast, dinner, the whole I don't care. It's up to you guys, is it? Hello, no, Spaceman Dudley. So, uh, I came, came here for, for nine. My youngest dear didn't want to get up, and his girlfriend didn't want to get up, but they're not, they're used to staying up all night, or most of the night, because she works till late, and then sleeping half the day away but it's like sorry it's christmas no <laughs> they both did have an effort later on but um yeah the cat my youngest or so my oldest is wife and their dad came over for nine we did gifts we had breakfast which our tradition when my kids were probably eight and twelve we started doing um, Pillsbury cinnamon rolls for breakfast. And we had that and juice or whatever. And then we thought after a few years, of, maybe we should make this a little bit more healthy. So I started buying like a fruit tray. Or, now I, I skipped the fruit tray because we only eat half of it and half we get thrown out. So I just get like clementines and apples or bananas or grapes. I don't want those on the side. We have coffee. And I quite often do um, a crock pot of cider and i'll add um one of the essential oils to it and it's called on guard it's got like cinnamon and nutmeg and stuff like that so it adds to the flavor but i think i was the only one that drank cider this year so might be looking at something different next year hello bernay one of my oldest co-worker from when he worked at what well, same as gamestop I guess it's now GameStop. It used to be EV Games, now it's GameStop in Canada too. Um, has opened a coffee place 
but it's they got a coffee and tea, but they also got all the different K cups and all those things. And some of them, he has hot chocolate ones and he has cider ones. So maybe I'll stock up on some cider ones. If I want cider next year, I'll just do the K cup thing because the pot that my or the coffee maker that my youngest bought because I don't drink coffee, it has a coffee pot thing on one side and the other side you can put like a K cup in. Or it has a thing that you can put ground coffee in and just do a single cup. And I'm just running out of K-cups. I went to um, friends in Windsor last year and we got, we went to, it was a home hardware, which is a Canadian hardware store. But they had a section where they had the boxes of different K-cups. But they also had ones that you could pick out individually. So that was kind of cool. So I picked out some different kinds. I'd like to get um, the last ones I used up for French vanilla cappuccino, which I don't mind those. Now all I have left are chai tea and some decaf coffee ones that nobody drinks that bought when either when my birth mom was visiting or when a, my friend was from up north was visiting visiting because they only drink decaf so. Might end up tossing those because I'm not going to keep those around forever. Where we got? We're at eight minutes. I'm going to grab my. Feel very comfortable. Hey. Well, I'm never taking the bacon out that I bought. I didn't say that I wanted it out yet. <laughs> As long as I see, save some for, oh, I got somebody in the basement. So I just use the crescent rolls. You can use the grand ones too. Just when I pull it out, I make sure I crank up the heat. Oh, somebody in private chat. Wow. Hello, hello. Hello, beautiful person. Or you have a hungry person now. <laughs> is this done yet? Is this done yet? Is it done yet? I came because I followed my nose. It smells delicious. I, I had you on playing, but I was like, couldn't reply because I was trying to do other things. No, Space Man, I don't have a cheesecake. <gasps> cheesecake. Hi, Lily. Uh, Hi, Space Man. I'm not the kind of person that likes the baked cheesecake. I like the other kind, like the cherry cheesecake. It's the creamy center type thing. I have a recipe from, a, from somebody I met in Scooby. That's really good. And I, I love it with just sliced, sliced peaches on top. It was really good. One of my favorite recipes for cheesecake, you know those um chocolate mousse balls at Christmas they make? Somebody gave me a recipe once for cheesecake ones, and I was like, oh, those are good. Well, that's an idea, Spaceman. Maybe I could do that cheesecake. It's not a baked one, but it's, it is a good one. Hello, Mr. Paul Lines. Howdy, howdy. PSV. Hi, Danny. Hi, Paul. Miss Burnett, I hope you're feeling better, girl. What you got in there, Bernie? Is that uh, popcorn? <laughs> I love that space man for a bunch of green. Yeah, you're talking my language. <laughs> Jesus, make me hungry smelling this. <laughs> I know, and when you're when you're not supposed to to cook or bake when you're hungry, because that's like torture. It's just like going grocery shopping. Yeah. I'm bad for that. And I, th I did the. I did that the other day when I went down to the grocery store, but I, I did pretty good. I only spent 60 bucks. <laughs> that's pretty good. Considering what groceries cost, that's pretty good. I do have to give, you know, credit or props to my youngest. Um, my oldest and her dad showed up the other night here. And it's like, um, grandma's, the grandmother said, did you give the the cards to the boys? And it's like, what cards? You didn't give me any cards to give. 
So the both kids got money for grandma for Christmas. Oh, that's so nice. My youngest went out and spent it last night on groceries. Oh, see. When he could have, when he could have taken it and spent it on whatever. Yeah. So I, I, I was impressed. <laughs> I let my GST come in yesterday, so or Friday, so I was like, "Oh, we can get some groceries." <laughs> I haven't even looked at my account, so maybe I got that in already. Yay! My Friday. Okay. Mm. My youngest goes, "I didn't get mine. You didn't do your income tax for last year. You won't get it until you do your income tax." Yeah, until you get your income tax. So they've been making interest on your money. Yep. Just letting you know, they had it for a year, then they, they tie in income, they make interest, and then if you don't claim it, they'll still make interest until you do. Carol says it's 31. I got 30 here. Not too bad as long as I got right refrigerator. Here. I have a freezer or temperatures or whatever that is in American. Well, like I was telling, telling you earlier, Mike crazy laptop when I updated to Windows 11 decided to switch my temperature thing to Fahrenheit so it makes it easier for me talking to my friends here because I can look at my phone and it tells me it's Celsius uh, I'm 24 which it says minus oh. one Celsius but I can look here it's like 30 Fahrenheit I don't have to get my phone up and try to figure out what <clears throat> Yeah, I see you were. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Ouch. Could you that, with that response I bought a, hold on. Facebook, they do a pot pies. I, I see one Brene, that was another one I was gonna do, where they used the biscuit dough and they push it down in and they put the pot pie stuff in it and then bake them in like little muffin things. I swear, if I can make gluten-free croissants in one of those puffy things, like Pillsbury, I'd be a millionaire. I'm just saying. You would. I would live on gluten-free. Okay, I hear you, Mr. Timer. I gotta. He's like, around here. We're, not, we're not stopping screaming until you stop me. I'm gonna do this carefully so I don't kick myself out of here because you know how finicky this uh, webcam is. Spaceman, I'm west of Toronto. Yes, I am. It's 24.8. Whoosh. 24 it is. It's cold. <gasps> you smell it? <coughs> kind of hard to, I don't want to tip it too far, but. One for tonight and one for the guests that are coming tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll go through about one and a half of these usually. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. Pot pie is so good. You can't go wrong. Well, I was talking about there's a, rest, there's a, rest, uh, a restaurant around, oh, here called Olives. Not Olive Garden, it's Olives. It's, they do a pot pie, then we do a pot pie that has puff pastry on top. And it's like, I don't do puff pastry, that's too fancy. <laughs> Carefully, try to do this, put it on top, without burning your fingers. Yeah. Bring it in close to here. Hoo -hoo. Okay. I take one piece and put it across, and then I use the other pieces and try to fill in the gaps. Yeah. It doesn't need to be fancy, it just needs to be tasty. How can you go wrong with Pillsbury? I'm just asking. Can't. Anybody had a bad recipe? Because I have yet to make a bad recipe with Pillsbury. Trying to get the edges here. 
It's only got to be crispy. Oh. Michael Ann, do you overindulge and do a little spray of oil or Pam or oil? Yes. Mm. No, because, but I, I'm just going to throw it. Bernie, if you have a, um, what are those, those skillets made out of the black stuff? What is that called? Iron skillet? Is that what it's called? Cast iron. Cast iron, thank you. Have cast iron? You can make anything camping. Anything. You can throw this in a cast iron. Then yep. What do they throw these things? The equivalent of like a uh, jack in the box for adults? Yeah. You're supposed to smack it. Just smack it on the counter. It'll explode. I usually just put the thumbnail. Like, they show you throwing a spoon in there. It's like, whoop. I just whack it. Pick out my frustration. Just whack it. I would probably break it. <laughs> Yummy. Oopsie. Yummy. It's the best part. Like I said, it doesn't need to be pretty. Okay. People in the chat, when you eat pie, do you eat the filling first, the crust first, or are you like a just eat it all together kind of person? I'll just tell you, you know that crumbly edge that you could just snap off? Always start with that part. It's the best part of the pie. I go from the bottom to the top. See, even even Danny's like, smack it. Smack it real good. Love out loud. Absolutely. Exactly. Just smack that Pillsbury. Okay. To the inventor of Pillsbury dough, I would like to thank you for all the great recipes you've provided in my life. Pillsbury's so good. Like, one thing I haven't had in a long time is like, the turnovers. <laughs> oh. My aunt used to get them all the time. I uh, have a little, excuse me. Got my little pampered chef baking tray right here. See, Lillian eats her pie all together. She takes her fork or her spoon and she just slices it all together. And it depends on the kind of pie, too, with me. Like, do I gotta put ice cream with it? Do I gotta put some uh, whipped cream with it? But it's pie. Shouldn't you have both with it? I'm just saying. One's a bit soft. One's a bit hard. Just depends, you know. Well, if it's, I like whipped cream with um, pumpkin pie. Oh, Lillian's like, Lily says, turnovers are so delicious. See, okay, Bernice so says crusty eating here. The crust eating here. Then a little bit of that. I'm with you there, Bernice. For 10 to 12 minutes. <gasps> Do you leave it on regular heat or on broil? Just on regular heat. Oh, I turned right. it up from 350 to 375. That's and then I have a few extra crusts here that I'm going to. Uh, did, did you put some I'm brie in those and put them aside for no oh, you didn't put some brie in there or some spicy sweet and spicy jelly in there yummy carol starts with the inside oh she doesn't eat the crust on all oh, oh carol it depends on the on the the pie crust too whether i eat the, the last bit because if it's a tough pie crust Heck no. <laughs> See, I like I like my bottom pie crust thick, but the, the top thing, it's just the and thing. If, and if you, the pie is baked and the, and the bottom crust is, uh, bottom crust isn't crispy, that's like, that's disgusting too. Michael Ann, I think you inspired Lily. I'm probably having frozen chicken pot pie for dinner now. <laughs> Well, and the other thing I love about this, like back probably a couple decades ago now, at least our church used to, when they'd have their fall bazaars or whatever, they used to make a ton of turkey pies and beef pies and all of that stuff. And those were always the best turkey pies. But then they got kind of expensive. <laughs> we 
remember my mom used to buy butter tarts from the bazaars too. Yeah. Ball bears. And she tried to hide them in the freezer. She found out found out that wasn't a good hygiene box. My dad and I would eat them frozen. <laughs> oh yes! Eating them frozen? Oh my god, those are so good. <laughs> Americans, if you don't know what what are they called? I just heard it. My brain is not working today. Butter tarts, if you can get them from Amazon delivered to your house, it's it's still delicious. It's like a mini pie, but extra chicken. I promise, come to M23, I'll make more butter tarts, but I'll make the full size and they're all going to be raisin because that's so, a month away. So Michael Ann, Steve is sleeping in the car and you and I are in the teardrop again? Whatever works. <laughs> We, we we just need a place to crash it. I can fix my tent. It's a 14-person tent. <laughs> but it's so cold. We're going to need a... That's why last year I was impressed by the tent that had the um, fireplace in it. And it's... I'm subscribed to the channel. I don't know what you... I don't remember what it's called. But I was like, yeah. I'm used to winter camping. Not me. I haven't done it in a while, but you dress for it and all that. Hey, I I camped. Uh, what is this? it's up Niagara. It's is it the Burlington area. Yeah, yeah camp. Right, Queens. Camp Nemo, or it's right yeah. at the base of the Niagara escarpment. So the wind came down off the escarpment across this field. <laughs> It was minus 32. <laughs> but you have the best view there. That's the and thing. I slept, and I slept in a pup tent where I had this much room above me. So <laughs> all by myself. Okay. Well, we ended up because the snow was probably 12 inches deep. We stomped off blocks of snow and we built up a wall around us, almost like an igloo type thing. So it, it kind of broke the, the wind. I always say when I was watching Survivor, when are they doing Survivor? In northern Canada, like when? Yeah, well, I see them do Survivor and none of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, my cousin did go home safely, too. She, uh, she left on the Monday, got home on the Tuesday night, because they go from Nunavut to, well, to where she was, Igloo Lake to Iqaluit, and from Iqaluit to Ottawa, and they stayed the night there, and then get up the next morning, drive from Ottawa to Toronto to London, and then some, her mom picked her up this time because she came in in the evening, so I didn't have to go. Sweet, sweet. No one didn't get a campsite yet. Planning to. Brene, where are you at? Are you going to M23? We have to finalize details before we can uh, figure out what's. We also got a, a meetup to plan too. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I screwed up the date. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Thank God I didn't put out my holidays. That's all I have to say. <laughs> That's why I was like, I have to put it in before February 1st. So we have to get together and figure it out. I made a commitment to my oldest as long as yep. they were doing the LARP part as Monster Marshal that I would help out. So I'm doing this to look at the chat, but I have my camera's over here. <laughs> <I'm trying. laughs> I know people who have farmland, but it doesn't work. Because I, I was actually inquiring about that. Because it's, like, <laughs> it's too boondockish in the boonies. So I was like, eh. I reserved a cabin and a campsite, but I have until August to decide if I'm driving or flying again. Well, you can fly and then rent something. There's always that option too, right? That's the thing. 
Yep. Oops. I lost what I was looking for. Oh, you flew the first time or did you drive the first time? She drove, didn't she? I'm not sure what she did last year. I know she was on the... Uh, John Riverstick's site, wasn't she? Yeah, I think so. I, don't know. I can't open my phone because it's charging it was at six percent. I almost didn't make it to the live because I had no access to my phone. Oh uh, no. Which site did you get, Bernay? Just curious, that's all. Kenny, I'm gonna send you an email tonight. Because right now there is fantastic news going on in tiny home communities and Newport, Tennessee. Well, she flew in and rented the truck. Yeah, okay, so yeah. Bernie, oh, okay. how much was that? Was that like 600 bucks? 700 bucks for renting of a truck? I don't know, I'm, I'm curious because in Canada, for one week to rent a vehicle, you're looking at a serious 1K to 2K, no problem. Okay. okay. I had that issue. Hi, hi Josh. Hi, Josh and Chastity. <laughs> I had that issue in 2011 when I flew out west. 118, which is closest to the. Oh, okay. Good idea. Over on the other. Over on the other side. We don't have those numbers on the map. So, Bri, Bri is coming back. Yuppie! this time people i will have my i'll put in a brand new sim card and everybody will make a short for me for instagram so get your songs ready <laughs> or get your sayings ready that juma's in the house did i say hi to carol i think i did hey no juma she from detroit michigan airport where i live one week of rental was slow See, I was thinking 600. I'm not that bad by the time you pay gas. Okay. Well, I flew at West, it was going to be like 1100 mm -hmm. with one from Alamo for two weeks that I could rent in Vancouver. And because my mom, birth mom was moving and while I was out there, like she was flying from the island to Edmonton, I could travel through BC and, and turn it in at Edmonton Airport before we flew out. But I ran into issues with the rental car in my credit card. Uh, that being a jerk. Uh, I ended up instead of spending you know, eleven hundred on two weeks for one from Alamo, I ended up getting spending twenty five hundred dollars on one for a week and I had to return it back to Vancouver and then I had spent another seven hundred dollars on plane tickets to fly from Vancouver to Edmonton. So it was like Wow, that's expensive. The next next time we went out I uh drove out. Um, let me give that two more minutes. We heard beep, beep, beep. Well, so 10 to 12 minutes. I gave it 10. It could be a little bit more golden brown. Oh, so she rented the cabin, but you had reserved it. That's confusing. Okay. No, we're still in the, what, the first week of the first of yeah. bookings being available. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Went to truck again so I can rent an RV that needs to be hauled by a truck. Nice. Well, the cabin sleeps six at the most, I think. Yeah, I think it's six. I have a nice fire pit. I was around there with Cookie and. Me, MRV, and TGIF. We're just chit chatting. Turn the nice fire. Eat a cute I didn't see the cabins at all. The only see the time to see the cabins was um, was it Angie and Troy that did a drive around the campsite. Yeah. That's the only time I see what I seen of the cabins. Oh, almost there. Well, somebody was in my vehicle and showed me around. 
I refuse to say that person's name. This is a favor. We got scents or perfume. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't, worry. Put him, <laughs> don't put them on. V missed a lot because somebody had a lot of perfume. Somebody had a lot of perfume and V had to leave the campfire and pavilion area because. I couldn't dance. I was so disappointed. It's my specialty. I was going to show you some Canadian dance moves. Okay. Oh, good. Same time as I prepared for this coming. That's what. No worries. It's okay, Brene. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, no day. problem, Brene. If you have that one, I know where to find you. Yay! Well, we know where we can track you down. But I'm just going to say one thing. I am bringing rubber boots. FYI. Oh, uh, yeah. Rubber boots. And I found my good rain poncho, and I know exactly where it is right now. I got my rain poncho ready to. Ooh. I have my fluorescent jacket again, so you can't miss me. Those few in there for minutes. I'm debating pho soup sushi. Pho soup. Uh, those, those pho bowls you brought, those get you me? Aren't I they saw, delicious? Yep, and I seen some in um, No Frills. See, ours doesn't carry it. Yeah, or if they do, people it. just buy a whole box. There's the other one. Oh, delicious! <laughs> My Galana looks so good. It looks so good. Smells so good. I was going to move a few things because I told my guys 6 o'clock, so I could be walking in at any time and then I will be shutting down the live. See, perfect timing, people. I was gonna move my things I don't need on the table out of the way. Michael Ann, before you, you leave us, will you be serving up a bowl to make us drool before you leave? Uh, they're, okay, they're running behind. Okay, good. Let's eat it all, people. They're not there yet. <laughs> okay, Michael Ann, what do you serve your Popeye with? Just on a plate. Ketchup, pickles, carrot sticks. No, no. <laughs> we got some veggies in there. No worries, it just came. Plain old pot pie only. When I was a kid, my grandma used to always have these little cute little restaurant cups. You would put, she would put dips. So we would have ranch with little jelly and carrot sticks. And then my one of my cousins pointed out. Why are we eating carrots twice? Because you put carrots in the pot pie. I would have carrot sticks. No, and carrots she goes, well, in case you don't eat one, you have the other. Oops. I'm going to move my uh, humongous tripod. I was given this awesome tripod. By the, Ooh. By the mom and the little girl I babysat. Yeah. yeah. Huge tripod, and she gave me um, the thing for that's a black screen, so the green screen. I think she kept the green screen, but the, the, the stand that it goes on and all that. Yeah. Michael Ann, this is Bernie when she wrote Here's the dream to have my rig for June, to go to the Oregon meetup from July to September, drive up to Michigan. Let's stop for the Sturgis motorcycle run. That's in, in August in South Dakota. Oh, geez. Lillian would serve up her pot pie with a bit of cottage cheese and pepper. See, I, my oldest for the longest time was a very picky eater. So do a lot of things that are very basic. Why 
and they are quite happy with a health, healthy serving of pot pie. <laughs> Yummy. Because uh, it's very fill it's, it's very thick and very filling, and so is the um, yeah. crescent roll on top. With a nice glass of red wine, or just that yummy. I bought somebody red wine for Christmas, and then she told me she's not. She stopped drinking. I'm like, so maybe you should say, "Where's the red wine? We should maybe bring it out." We don't drink wine. I do. I do still have a um, cooler from New Year's Eve, though. Well, I'm just saying, if you have stewing beef, red wine, that makes a good stew. Yeah. Pick off the alcohol. Flow my, it out of there. Well, my. <laughs> I'm gonna make a comment. It's like, okay. I overheard the comment of either she was either could use it for cooking, or she could regift it. And I'm like, regift booze? That just doesn't sound right. I spent money on that. And you're gonna give it to somebody else? I mentioned that to my youngest. He goes, "No, I'll use it for cooking." Heck with that. <laughs> oh. Michael Ann, have you did and have you ever used your nutritional yeast yet? Oh, heck no. <laughs> because my Brene just said Lily cottage cheese with Doritos nacho cheese flavor. Instead of Doritos nacho cheese, try your nutritional yeast. Tastes just like cheese, man. I was thinking about it yesterday when I was watching Acre Homestead and she was doing yes. all because she instead of using cottage cheese and her lasagna, she did a bechamel yeah. sauce. I thought that yes. with the nutritional yeast mixed in, yes, would be perfect. So delicious. Might, might try that some, sometime. I gotta get more lasagna noodles. Still have a few gluten-free ones left, but I don't have any other ones. See, just like when when we make um, cabbage rolls, we have it with sour cream and a bit of pepper. We don't do the cottage cheese because well, I'm I'm like Michael Ann's son. I'm very visual when I eat. Cottage cheese reminds me of something completely different than food. It yeah. reminds me of baby puke soup. So I, I like cottage cheese, but I don't mix the fruit mix with it. Yeah. And if it's smooth, weird, it's okay. Another weird cup. It's better in the U.S. They can get large curds, so it almost looks like the cheese curds. See, now you're talking. So I would eat that. Yeah. But the little, uh, it looks like baby puke. I just can't. Maybe just when, maybe when I go over for. Michigan, like cottage cheese and orange fluff jello. Ooh, <laughs> Kenny's like, yeah. Kenny's like, yeah. See, see, I eat with my eyes. If it looks weird, mm -hmm. we used to go for lunch. blindfolded, and I'd be like, you just go for lunch at work, and there, there was a salad bar, and I'd get some salad, and they had like brown beans and throw some of those on throw some cottage cheese on and it's like actually those two but I aren't too bad <laughs> there's a time I've like, had cottage cheese and brown beans like, I don't have any cottage cheese right now because I used it all for lasagna for New Year's see that's the only way I'll have it but if I ever make it I have to blend it until it's smooth cottage cheese with jello packets sliced fruit and the whipped cream you'll have to so you'll have to make that on a live Lilia <laughs> Yeah. Can that be your first live and we'll come up and we'll, we'll try? Chili, I think the only jello I have here though is, is it strawberry or cherry? I don't know. I bought some. I don't know what the girlfriend bought. I have pudding in front of me. What kind is it? Cherry? Nope. I don't do cherry. <laughs> See, this is why I should start my channel blindfolded taste test. The to things me, I would be like freaked out that would have been in my mouth afterwards. To me, anything that's artificial cherry flavored to me tastes like medicine. Yeah. See, and I don't like the medicine. I like maraschino cherries and stuff. I used to love to eat like fresh cherries. Yeah. Only they don't love me. Yeah, well. They go right through me. So yeah, like, that, that's that's their purpose. Do you now, take the vitamins and you just let it go? The cherry juice, natural cherry juice, is a good good melatonin substitute. Yeah. Speaking of cherries, 
when we were on the carnival horizon, because, you know, I don't drink alcohol, and I, I took part in the pub crawl. Night, well, Jenny. that was my, my drink of choice. I was like, can I have a glass of cherries? They're like, what? Just give me a shot of cherries. So I'd have my little shot glass with a bit of cherries in it. But at the Alchemy Bar, I don't know what they did to those cherries. They massaged them. They talked to them. I don't know. But they were dark or like almost like black. It was so deliciously good. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? His name Alan? Yeah, Alan was our server. He was the best. But he was the best at Alchemy Bar. He was very friendly in that. Yeah, if you oh. see Alan, you ask him for a shot of cherries because V from Call Me V, Hello Beautiful People, he'll be like, I know her. Now, if you go on the horizon and you're in the main dining room oh. at the Anytime Dining, Anytime Dining, yeah. ask for sugar. Sugar, sugar. And his best, crew. Best experience. Sugar, uh, yeah. Tawan, and, and uh, Jose. Jose, yes. Sugar, spice, and honey. Is <laughs> yeah, sugar, spice, and honey. That's how I remember it. It's well, the sugar, trio. Sugar's name was like this long. <laughs> it was almost as long as Michael Ann. And, <laughs> and he'd be like, just call me Sugar. Okay. That just guy had personality, personality plus. And yeah. He was cute and sweet. And was, or you go to Cherry on Top and MJ. Yes, MJ. She was, she, was so she was so cute. She was so knowledgeable. Oh my God. Because, you know, my mom used to work in a convenience store when I was a kid. So I tried every kind of candy there was. But I got there and I was like, back in the kid because I was like, I've never tried these candies before. And your rockets are called Smarties. I don't get it. They're rockets. And our Smarties. I like our, our Smarties are chocolates. I started chocolate. Not. I'm not a big fan of rockets. were like the last thing I ate in the. See, and they were the first ones. My Halloween candy. I, I would eat them in the bathtub. In the bathtub. All right, who closed the extension cord in the fridge? <laughs> I love, love fluff. As in marshmallow fluff, Brene. But X nay on the cottage cheese. You know. I'm visual. I eat it with my eyes. I was like, no, no, I'm not going like to eat Like the green anymore. cherries, too? Green I made, cherries, uh, yeah. They're good. I made cookies at Christmas. I don't know if you've seen the pictures of them. They're called Christmas Slice, and they're they're like they're like between a, a sugar cookie and a... Um, What's the other ones? Shortbread. Kind of in between there. And you you mix in like the machino cherries, the red and the green ones, and then the half uh, pecans, chopped pecans. You roll it up the dough and then you into a log and then you put it in the, the freezer and then you slice it up. When you get I just bits, eat it like that. You get little bits of nuts and you get some red and some green from the different cherries. And it was like, it looks so pretty. <clears throat> I still put my extension cord away. Lily, marshmallow fluff. I love you, Americans. Figuring that out. But you know what my favorite is? Still maple marshmallows. I opened them because I wanted them hard. And I'm finally getting hard. Well, it's laughing because the ones I bought in the fall. I paid for like a dollar a bag. I seen them yesterday and no, the day before no frills. And they're back up to like three sixty nine a bag. Yeah. It's like really. <laughs> we'll have to bring some. Oh yeah. Have to go to Michigan. I love stale marshmallows. Though. I'm wondering, should I bring a fondue machine? Make a cheese fondue. I can't import cheese from Canada, though. That's the problem. But Quebec has really good cheeses. Yeah. Whipped maple. cream fluff. Maple marshmallows never had any. Is there any in her box? 
Yep. Maybe. <laughs> oh, Lily, I went to Michigan. Your box was in the car. Guess what? U.S. Postal Service was closed. <laughs> I was like, oh, crap. I didn't think this through. Your box has traveled a few times. Well, because we had to be back so early. Yeah. We didn't come back that early on the Friday. We would have been. Because we went right past the post office. Yeah, twice. Mine was closed both times. I'm like, darn it! Michigan Carol says I vote yes to fondue. <laughs> fondue, see? Do you Americans know what a raclette is? Maybe I should do this with Mo Bang. A fondue and a raclette. Mo Bang would like to do a raclette, I'm sure. Do you know what an arclet is, Michael Ann? No, I don't. <gasps> Let me show you on Google. <laughs> Can't wait to try when I'll figure that it was close. Well, that was like me taking, taking um, was Diane's picture and Sandra's oil and uh, the magnet for Tim time to, to send, because I was going to like, when I get back from the cruise, I'll, while well, I'm still in the States, I'll send them, then not, they'll, Probably cost me less for postage. And then the day I was hoping to do that, tested positive, I had to come home and didn't never got to the post office. So three small packages cost me $40 to send to the States. It's insane. Yep. It was like, uh, if I do any more contests, it'll probably be Amazon gift card or something. <laughs> and my clan, I am presenting to you. <clears throat> oh, okay. This is a raclette. So you fry on the top. You either can keep warm or have like warm sauces and little things. That would be cool to do with these guys. And that's all you do. You just do it. Like, ah. Uh. One year for New Year's, I did fondue, and it's such a messy pain in the butt. <laughs> That's why I said the raclette is less messy because it's frying versus boiling. Let me see if I can that show you a cool. different version. Let me present another one so you can have a different angle. I have, I have yeah. a, for, my, for chocolate <laughs> one, I have, I have a little, uh, it's like a mini crock pot. <laughs> Melt the chocolate put in there and then you can dip. We've done that. I used to have a chocolate fountain too. Here you go. Oh, what happened? There you go. Processing, processing. So this is what I look like. <laughs> See, like, you can have like a garlic butter in this one and, you know, or you can just do your vegetables. And it's like, and it's, See, breakfast, lunch, dinner. No, I have a grill. All of the above. <laughs> you can even I have, have a grill. Yeah, and then you can even warm up your, your you can warm up your syrup. It's so delicious. That's cool. They're color coordinated, so like that, you know, people have whatever. <laughs> like the fork cool. for, for fondue. <laughs> yeah, it's like the fondue is the same concept, but it's a raclette, so you fry it instead. Yeah, Lily's never had fondue. There's a video, but I don't want to show it on your channels. <laughs> but if you write it, it's spelled R-A-C-L-E-T-T-E. -E. Raclette. It's French. <clears throat> you can do many types of fondue, Lily, and depending on what, like if you have a cheese fondue, which is like a melted cheese thing, you can, you can do fruit, you can do breads, you can do some vegetables, whatever. You have a chocolate fondue, you can do fruit, you can do cake, you can do um, pretzels, and chips, marshmallows. I can tell you that I put a chicken wing in it. Some people will do a, either a broth or an oil, and then you cook your meat on the pork in the broth or the oil. Yeah. And with the fondue, if you have a few going, you can do your whole meal. 
Because the yeah. broth, the broth can be just your vegetables. The fry, the oil one can just fry your meats. Then the cheese can be your, then your chocolate is your dessert. Appetizer, full meal. <clears throat> oh, Bernay, you didn't make the sheriff butter tart thing yet. Get on to it, girl. I've never seen those, and I was like, oh, those would be cool to try. I haven't seen them yet. I think I'm going to write to the company to see if they can send me a case. That would be something cool to bring. Oh, Bernie says you must do a video on how to make this so I don't screw anything up. You just pour it. Just pour it in a, if you don't have the little butter tart, the little pie shells, just put it in a pie. Same thing. It's just better small and portable. And I don't do pastry well, so that's why I just buy the frozen shells. I can buy the, oh, what brand is it? Yellow Box, can't. No, I was going to say Yellow Box, Tender Flake. Tender Flake. I was like, you only know, you know, get like 12 in there, or you get like, I think 18 in the mini ones. <laughs> or we have, I don't know what brand it is, Walmart has them, and No Frills has them here, which some so package. It's just a, a whole row of them, and it's like 30 of them for yeah. five bucks. <laughs> and that's what I usually do. I, then I took my recipe that's on my butter tart video. You just do it times two and a half. But they should have it in the U.S. because it's the same as a quiche. You yeah. know, you lose that same Many little... Mm. These hard marshmallows, there's nothing better than a hard marshmallow. My dentist will kill me. But it's my oh, I got like a little one. Actually, I got a few, I got a few left in the bag upstairs. Because I bought a bag of <laughs> many marshmallows to use for cooking. It's my last bag. Because I, I did um, what they call Rocky Road brownies. You just let more brownies, and then when you take them out, you put the mush marshmallows on top, stick them back in for a few minutes just to melt them a bit. Take it mm -hmm. out, then you... Let it cool a bit and you drizzle melted chocolate on top. But I had leftover marshmallows, so when I was making hot chocolate, I was putting marshmallows in my hot chocolate. I still got some left. They're probably going to be stale soon. I, I might make Rice crispy squares with the rest of them. Oh, that would be good. Mm -hmm. I used to do cheerio, like Rice crispy chairs, squares, only I would do it with Cheerios. And instead of butter, I would use peanut butter. Those are really good, too. Oh, I usually put extra maple syrup in it, so it has that, that little extra sticky thing. It's so good. I didn't do it. I usually do them those at Christmas too. I didn't do those. Steve, well, we bought some. We we supported local. You know the colored marshmallow and the peanut butter and the. Oh yes. And then the peanut butter rice krispies rolled in chocolate. We call them Davy Crockett balls. I don't the know what you guys call. Them. Peanut butter and butterscotch. Chips yeah. melted and then the colored marshmallows in it. Looks like That's a stained glass look to it. When it were mm -hmm. Have that recipe in one of my books. My grandma used to, my mom used to say, That's the only time I eat marshmallows. And I was like, But it's the cheapest recipe. I was like, Ooh, I could make well, the, the salad we called five and one, but some people call it like an, almost like an ambrosia. That would say that would be the easiest salad to take. I know Snicker salad's good too. <laughs> Have you ever had sex in a pan? I haven't had sex anywhere in so long. <laughs> sex on the beach followed by sex in a pan. Come <laughs> on, people. On the beach, you get sand everywhere. This is a PG one. <laughs> you drink it, it's a drink. <laughs> I know I've had, I drank that. I drank that. I didn't on the cruise though. I had. Miami Vice. I think I had five drinks all together on the cruise. And I bought four of them. <laughs> I had three Miami Vice. I had the closer and the pain relief at the Alchemy Bar. Alchemy Bar is like. That was cool. Eric B. Was when we were doing the drinks, he ordered three drinks and then. Everybody had a glass and we just shared the drinks. And I was like smelling the cups and I was like, 
man, I want to lick these cups. They smell oh, so delicious. The closer? Well, I think Alana tried it. She she wasn't too good up, too keen on it, but I made sure I mixed it up really well. It was just like chocolate milk with a kick. Ooh. What was it, martini mix? No, it, it was... Vodka? I think it was vodka. It, uh, vodka? Martini. Is what martini. I can Okay, now I'm gonna get my camera thing to move, my photo thing to move. For now, I'm not all over the place. I'm still sitting here. I usually move more. I'm trying to consciously not move as much. Trying to scroll back to the cruise. That's coming home. That's the last day. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Because I knew people would ask me what. <laughs> What was in yeah. it? And so I took a picture from the, that menu. Yeah, from the menu, yeah. Of the, kind uh, of like a much slide, similar. Kind of. Kind of. The presentation at the Alchemy Bar, that's like Miami Vice. It was before. No, like, I think it was before. Cocktails, Ruba. Like movie, the, the TV show called the movie Cocktails. It was poor Ruba because I think it was because we had two C days to start with. The deal closer was Stoli yes. Vanilla Vodka, Amaretto, Irish Cream, and Chocolate Liqueur. Amaretto! And then the um, Pain Relief. Come on. Get big enough so I can read you. Was there watermelon or cherry in them? Pain Relief was Star Rum, Bacardi 8, and Malibu Coconut Rum combined with fresh orange and pineapple juices. Wow! I think... I think that's one of them that they tried because by the smell profile, yeah, that sounds like right. And the, uh, yeah, it was pain relief. Because <laughs> I think if you had more than one of those, you wouldn't be feeling no pain at all. Well, to me, that was our, after our supper, or whatever, that's where we would end up because there's always somebody from the group ending up at the Alchemy Bar. Well, we, we got to talk. To the cruise director up there, Cookie was yeah. up wandering around the there. The captains there. The captains were sitting over on the other side in the uh, the Asian in place. When it was closed. Sushi. Uh, what's it called? Sushi place when it was Banzai? closed. Banzai? I think it was. Yes. But it was it was closed. Usually closed or whatever. And the captain and some of the other crew would sit over there. I never got to meet them, but I think you got a picture taken with. Yeah, I got to pick picture. Taken with one of them and then Cookie and then they were leaving. I said, hey, can I take a picture with the two cabins? And the lady was like, still not impressed with me. And I was like, so when I left, I said to the lady, look, I'm leaving. I won't, in, I won't bother you for another picture. I was going to take a picture with you, but I'm not going to bother. Because she was like, not again, not this girl again. I think the best picture of me and Cookie was up by the Alchemy Bar there. I want to thank Sharon from Cruising Scene for that wonderful video that she sent me of Cookie and I, because I just wanted the picture and she sent me the video. So I put it on my channel. I'm nice really surprised. Now, I was sitting the other day, it's like, I'd love to go on another cruise and looking at the different ships and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't, don't think I could go any bigger than the horizon. I got lost three times for supper. People I, like, He's always late. I'm like, I'm lost again. <laughs> it was so frustrating. I, I see the picture somebody posted. <gasps> I said Sharon's name and let's look who happens to pop up. Thank you, Sharon. I seen a picture posted. Oops. Oh, it's better this way. And I thought, you know, you think the, the horizon's big? Horizon, Horizon is the little one there. The other one is the new Carnival Celebration. No, no. I, I couldn't, I don't think I could do that. I'm going to need a GPS. I'll be really lost. I, it just, the big ones to me, I I know they're all built well and they've got all the bows and the buoyancy and the stuff. It, it just looks like a hotel on a barge and it feels like, looking at it to me like it could go. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas the, the Heart Horizon was kind of streamlined, looked like a ship, not like a hotel or a apartment building on it. 
Hey, I, 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 I did not see everything on the carnival because I get getting lost. I was like, I give up. I was like, like I, I would go back to the carnival again in a heartbeat. Yeah, on the horizon. Yeah, horizon. I would love to win the lottery right like right now and go on the, the pride, but no, oh, <laughs> you and me both. It just I want twenty money. bucks. That doesn't get me nowhere. Yeah, and those bingo ones I I got from from uh, you and Steve <laughs> New Year's. It's like, nah, come on, just enough for all of us to go on a cruise. Come on, come on, come on, come on. give us a cruise, baby. No, it didn't give us anything. Like even a fifty thousand, we could have afforded a cruise, pay some bills. They've all been happy. Yeah, I don't need millions. I just that's what I always say. I want enough to, to pay, pay the bills. You know, give my my kids a little something to help mm -hmm. them out, and give myself a new vehicle so I could travel <laughs> and, and buy my tiny house in Tennessee so we can have a place to travel to. Yeah, give me a, a, a small RV or a big van that I could travel in. <laughs> And I know we will get matching Dodge Caravans. Yeah. I'll, I'll send you the link of the, the, the new one that I saw for the table, the tip bed, a whole setup in the back like a teardrop. It's pretty impressive. Yes, Lily, from the, where that box has traveled already, it could be part way to your place. <laughs> it should have been at your place. That's the problem. But I said to Steve, oh, God. So once he gets back in the house, Steve keeps putting his no, leave it at the door, so I have to bring it back to the door. She's like, why is this at the door? Well, I was looking through my pictures today, trying to well, I was trying to find pictures for my change my thumbnail for tonight. And I was like, couldn't find a picture of the pot pie. I know I've taken a picture of the pot pie. Which I think should take a picture. <laughs> take a picture now. We'll change it yeah. out. <laughs> Oh, I end up with a flipping picture that's not the right way. See, I like what, what Sharon said. Prefer the smaller ships, they have more personality. Exactly. If we'd be on a big ship, I don't know if I'd remember half these people's names. Ugh. Michael Ann? Bye bye, bye. T-shirt for the Golden Girls, by the way. That's a new concept, but it might have our faces instead. <laughs> Just saying. But I think it's get back on the horizon again by the time I got on there. I know Cookie won't be there. <laughs> but it's okay. It's an opportunity to meet other people. Like Christian, we know he's leaving, what, March or April? I thought he was already gone. Oh, he was already gone? Wasn't Christian and Tino... The what the ones that were leaving, they had to make them jump in the pool or something. Yeah, but I thought they were leaving in February or March. Uh, Cookie's leaving in. <laughs> Has I it think, been announced yet? I think it's July. He's he's done on the. Yeah. Thanks, Lily. They smell delicious. I'm just waiting for my oldest to get here. You know, people are right now on their screens going. Oh my god, you're going insane. Smell a vision. I swear, if I can have smell a vision, we'd be millionaires. I'm just saying. Well, then to get here, and then my youngest went up, I think, taking a nap. So I'll send one up to get the other one. <laughs> Every day at work, what are you making? What are you making? What are you making? Food. <laughs> what does your nose smell? Delicious. That's all we know. <laughs> I said, well, there's your answer. I love cooking. I love cooking. It's the cleanup that gets to me, but no. Well, when you don't have a dishwasher, it's really, really. And when your sink is this size. But it gets like, me. I follow a channel, and they just built a new house, and they have two dishwashers. You're talking my language. <laughs> right. I always say, two dishwashers, two washer and dryers. Life is easy. Nope. Are they get a washer and dryer on the and no, it's in the mom and dad's and in, in the mom's walk-in closet. Yeah, and there's then, a washer and dryer on the basement level because they have a gym. So 
it's and off the off the gym and there's a bathroom there with a shower. Do they have one of those shoots, laundry shoots? No. They don't need the house, that's the number one first thing I put on the list. Laundry shoots. There's a there's a bath or a, a laundry room on every floor. Oh, okay. Well then there we go. Because in the basement is the the gym and the other stuff. The main level, the mom and dad's bedroom is on that level, and there's one in her um closet mm -hmm. it's great because you take stuff out of the dryer and you hang it back up exactly that's and then there's one the kids level up upst uh, upstairs there's one between the boys or at one end and the, the daughters on the other end and the boys have their own bathroom with a urinal in it as well nice and then, well thought well thought and then she has like a little she's got a little alcove in her Bedroom is almost the size of another bedroom that has where she can play with her toys and stuff. Then her bedroom part, and then there's her bathroom, and there's um, another laundry room in between. And they have cool. carts that have wheels on them so they can put their laundry in. And Mom still does the laundry, but it's like how big is this house? Five thousand square feet? It's humongous. Like, like I'm complaining that I have too many square feet at twelve hundred. Like, um, I don't know. But I want a laundry chute because I have six floors. I have I have a laundry chute between my closet here in the uh, kitchen, and I think we're one of th three units in the whole seventy units that still have the laundry chute that hasn't been boarded up. Nice. Now their channel has one point two six million subscribers. <laughs> That's a lot. Lillian, are you guys going on the cruise that Scott and Amber? We only wish we've cried about would it. Love to. We would love to. I would, I, it killed me when I saw them were going on the back-to-back -back cruise on Horizon. I was like, I want to stay too. That's <laughs> why I said to Steve. I, my money I wasn't there. This was an option. Steve goes, oh my God, it would have been me. But that would have been like, I need the money tree to pick that off so I can pay for, you know, six more days plus changing the, the flight home. And <laughs> um, Sharon, it's technically three levels, but they're split. So it goes like that. So technically it's like six, six floors because every floor is something going up, going up. So from my bedroom to the washroom is stairs. From the washroom to the kitchen, there's stairs, 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 stairs. I have a basement, a main floor, and an upstairs. <laughs> yeah, but then juxtapose it this way, you have to still do like six stairs to the next level. Mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. next level. Mm -hmm. I do like this town. Thirty nine stairs. Yeah. I do like this townhouse better than the one I I lived in when I first got married because this one has a main floor bathroom and an upstairs bathroom. We don't have that. The only bathroom I had in the First townhouse I lived in was upstairs. Welcome to my world. Which really sucked when you're like. When you come in, your hands are full of groceries and you look at those 30, 38, 39 stairs. Uh, going, it didn't hey. matter as much with my, when I was pregnant with my oldest because I was six months when we pregnant when we moved. But this guy, I was sick for nine months. Uh, yeah, no. And if, and if you're in the basement, and two floors up. I, I'm sorry, but the uh, laundry tub got hit quite a few times. Oh so did the kitchen sink. It was like, yep. We do have one in the basement, but it's just a toilet. There's no sink. There's no nothing. So the 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 basin thing for the laundry. That's where we use our washer hands or whatever. But you know, it's the laundry room. I just don't want to go in the laundry room. Well, so my mother-in-law has where one. the spiders are. My mother-in-law has one in her, like, you go downstairs in the basement, there's like a basement area, and then there's another little alcove, and then you go into the laundry room. And as you go in the laundry room, there's a toilet, the laundry tub, and then the washer and dryer down a little further. It's like, well, at least there's a lock on the door there. <laughs> See, I don't have a door. That's the thing. Because the other way to go, there isn't one on the main floor. You have to go upstairs, and it's like, You go up 
probably eight to ten stairs and there's a landing and then another eight to ten stairs and it's just like seems so long and i remember going over there when my dad was still alive and he had alzheimer's and he'd say he'd have to go to the bathroom so i have to you know escort him up to and try to get him up all those stairs it's a pain anyways folks my kids have just pulled in I will see you guys all on Thursday at 6 p.m. And we'll do some more cooking. Mushroom chicken. Ingredients are in the detail. or the thing. And guess what I'm doing after? Fantastic interview with the Canadiana person. Awesome. <gasps> so we'll see you guys on Thursday. Love you all. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Bye.